Hi, my name is Bill Hurley, owner of Bill Hurley Lures. Um, today we'd like to show you how we make Silverside oil. It's going to be the, we call it the seven secrets to making the oil. Here is the Silverside. That's what we're going to be making the oil from today. First question a lot of people ask is, why do I need oil or fish oil, fish scent? A striped bass or most bass can only see 36 inches in front of their, uh, the front of the bass. So uh, scent or uh, oils are the, probably the most important indicator for a fish to feed. So that is uh, the number one reason that you're going to need the oils. All right, um, we make three different types of oils. I'm going to show the first is the silver side that we're making today. That's your silver side oil that we make. You can see that it's light in color. And then in the spring, we make sandia oil and sandworm oil. We like to make a combination oil. I can get that uh, fresh sandias, fresh sandworms in the spring. And the key to these baits is to try and get some fresh oil for those sand eels. A little tough to get, but uh, you can see the color's a little bit darker. All right, some of the things that you're gonna need when you make these oils. First thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a pot. You don't wanna use a real good pot. You can get a pot at a tag sale like you see here. Don't use your wife's real good pot. Next thing you're gonna need is a hot plate. This is the hot plate that I like to use. Key to this hot plate is I can control the temperature because later on you're going to hear how that's extremely important. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is you're going to need some sand, sea salt. This is the sea salt that I like to use right here. We use a fair amount of it. it helps keep the oil, um, helps the oil penetrate into the baits themselves. Um, you're going to need a funnel to sift the bait when you're done cooking and you're gonna need a cloth filter. All right, <clears throat> the most important part is uh, you're gonna need good silver side bodies. Here's our silver side bodies. We're getting ready to cook. Um, we get these out of a bait shop or you can catch your own. I like to catch my own, but for right now, we're gonna use some from the bait shop. Uh, the most important part when you're making these oils, you're gonna need a stabilizer. The stabilizer is important because um, you need to have the oil uh, be able to last and you don't want it to become rancid. So this is the most important part. It's also the most expensive part. It can cost up to $60 a gallon, so it's not cheap. Uh, the last thing you're gonna need is a half mask. This is the half mask that I use um, because it can get, pretty smelly when you're cooking it. Uh, some of the tips. The first tip is you're going to want to simmer the bait. You're not going to want to boil it. Uh, usually one to two hours on a simmer. The next thing you're going to want to do is you never ever want to blend these silver sides because then all you're going to end up with is just mush. Uh, the last thing that you want to do is you never ever want to cook this inside your house. You either do it out in your garage or uh, outside uh, is during the spring. So um, we're lucky that we have a garage that we can make our silver sides. And the last thing is here at Hurley Lures, we do make a silver side. This is the silver side that we make and it has the interchangeable weights. Um, it goes all the way up to an ounce. You just slide your weight in like that. So it's Pretty straightforward, we make that in three different colors, the olive white, the white, and we also make it in the bubble gum. Name of that bait is called the ABB bait. Uh, we'd appreciate you to check in on our uh, YouTube channel. We like to post once or twice a week. And the last thing that we ask is that you support our veterans. So please subscribe to 